Hi there. This lesson is on classifying three-dimensional figures. And we're going to start off, there are two figures, or three, two 3D figures we're going to be working with in this unit, and that is prisms and cylinders. So I have here a couple of uh, pictures of some prisms to start off with, and just a couple of notes about them. So in a prism, the top and bottom faces are called the base. The lateral faces are always going to be rectangles. And then of course the shape of the base will name the prism. For example, um, this one and this one, the base is a triangle so that would be a triangular prism. Whereas this one and this one, the shape is rectangular. It's a rectangle, so these would be rectangular prisms. And you can really have any type of prism. You can have a pentagonal or hexagonal prism. Just depends on what this, what the, what, what the base shape is. All right. So that's just a little bit about prisms. The other thing that we're going to be studying is cylinders. So a couple of things about a cylinder. It does have two bases. Okay, and the bases are congruent circles. So you have a base here and then a base here. They're congruent circles, same size, same shape, everything is, is the same. And then of course there are no vertices and no edges. And we'll get a little bit more into detail as to the formula for finding um, for what we do with the cylinder. But for right now, that's all you need to know. Two bases and congruent circles with no vertices or edges. Um, we'll get some more practice with classifying these figures in class. So make sure you have your notes, and I will see you next time.